Where is Greg? Want to take it? Ah, Greg's here. Yeah. Oh, Tá mais um. Isso. Esse aqui chega mais fácil. Pode, pode puxar esse mesmo. Dois. Mais dez. Um. Dois, três, quatro, três, quatro, três, quatro, três, quatro, três, I got these guys uh, training the partners to imitate Robert Whitaker. So this is De Gino from Macaiba Fights. One of uh, he's fought Duplessis before. One of our MMA fighters from the Pibble Brothers. Now he's a coach, a world champion coach at that. And then you have Cordell Fleet, and they're getting ready. He's an MMA fighter. So he's just a pure wrestler. So I got to get Cordell used to training with an MMA fighter. And that's what we're doing. So when he gets with Paulo, he knows the feeling, he knows what to do. He's got six fingers. I, I think he should do power slap personally. There's nobody in power slap has got six fingers. And I told him, I said, don't worry, you can take it. You, I've seen him get punched by Duplessis. I've seen him get, take some tough shots. He gets punched by Paulo Costa. No power slaps guy is knocking this out. And he's got six fingers on his hand. So I think it's a good gimmick. <laughs> So what you're looking at is two brothers going at it, and uh, if you want to hear some truth, this is something nobody has heard. Is in the camp with Al Jermain, me and Henry fought some, right? And it, it, uh, when, we went, when I went to Abu Dhabi, his brother wasn't there for three weeks. And we, we trained Paolo. There was no snacks. There, there was no yelling. There was none of that. The first day his brother got there, him and his brother going at it like, I told you, get what time, how much time do, you know, like, what's the time, you didn't get, is it one minute, it's 30 seconds, I told you to tell, and he, they had a little, they were a lot more, there was a, it, the intensity in the room was a lot higher, they were fighting a lot, butting heads, and I thought, and I actually went up to tomorrow, I was like, you know what, I just had a revelation. Now I know why Henry and I are butt heads a lot because I saw the closeness. There was nothing until his brother arrived. And then when he got there, he never yells at us, but his brother he could yell at. So that's who got the, received the, uh, I guess that bad energy is because of the closeness. Now I understand, Henry's always yelling at me. He never yells at nobody else. And, uh, and he never, Paulo never yelled at us until his brother arrived. Then he was all over his brother. And it's just, uh, that's, that's just how it is when you're, when you're like brothers, you know? But this is Carlos, so Carlos was a fighter. Bohashina's name comes from his brother. His brother's name is Bohasha, which means rubber, because he's so flexible in jujitsu on the ground. So when Paulo got into jujitsu, he was called Bohashini, which means little rubber. Carlos gave up his career to, to become his coach, to, to become Paulo's coach. I want to say they were having financial problems at home with his mom. Uh, 
his father passed away and they wanted the mamas wanted him to work Paulo to work to help support the household and Carlo convinced her no give us give us a year or two it's like I think he could be good and within that year or two he was on the ultimate fighter obviously with Chael Sonnen and uh, Vanderlei Silva a little bit of history there so this is Kevin Souza. Kevin Souza is a UFC fighter, former UFC fighter, and he's got a big fight coming up. Well, G, a March 23rd, he's making his pro boxing debut uh, in, in Brazil. So this is one of the key components of this camp. He's got the he's got the jab and the distance that we're looking for. He's a disciple of Kelson Pinto, who's a legend of Brazilian boxing right here. He's beaten Miguel Cotto before. It's like a boxing legend reunion here at UFC 298. Spider kick. Yeah. Six. Seven. Eight. After after all? Yeah, after everything. I feel strong, I feel explosive. And uh, to, 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 to be honest, I just did fight exercise, fight training. I did do, I did, and uh, I used to run hill up hill, but I didn't do much lift away or nothing. Just fight and training, and I feel better than ever. Yeah, I'm great. Cordell, Norfleet, got some Sun Devil wrestling in them right now. Lembra atacar o ante de crossface também. Bota a cabeça fora, atacar o crossface, atacar o pescoço. Vamos fechar. O judo tá lá. I like this intensity, good technique, but it's good. Beautiful. I like it. Shoulder in his chest. Good. Can you crack him down when he does that? Yeah. This is where we cross face, take his neck. Okay. That was good. You look really strong, my brother. Okay, look at the next. Juice, Secret juice for this guy. Man. Right, bro. Secret juice. <laughs> How much you weigh around now? Probably like 211. 211? Maybe 211. Okay. 
Uh, start right here. Just right here. Same techniques, but if he can bring him to the cage, the idea is to stop him bringing him to the cage. Same run, just not in the center. Don't let him slow this fight down. Nice. I love it. He shoots, we destroy. Nice. Clear the underhook. What are you going to do? Boom. Well, yes. Nice. He looks like an All-American. We beat, we fought three wrestlers. Johnny Hendricks, Joel Romero, Luke Rockhold. All former UFC champs. Thank you. Damn. You can do that. Thank you.